welcome to the Patch Notes Overview for 3.3 Victory Lap. There are a bunch of really great skins in this patch, as well as some item and god balance changes. First up, let's take a look at the new skins coming in 3.3. The Master of Thunder has become the Master of Metal. Raijin is ready to rock and roll all night with his new Devil Horn skin. Thanatos is getting a new mech makeover in this patch. His Reaper Tech skin features robotic wings, a futuristic scythe, and his ultimate targeter has been replaced with a Robo Skull. Cupid is going back in time with his new Gutter Sniper skin. The God of Love swaps out his usual hearts for cherry bombs, beans, and chimney sweeps. Soul is receiving a new skin representing the 2016 SWC Champions, Epsilon. She's burning a new shade of blue and is decked out with the Epsilon Team jacket. Easy game, easy life, am I right? Speaking of Soul, the Fiery Goddess is also getting her mastery skins this patch. There are a few miscellaneous updates this patch. Popular items are now shown the top 10 items purchased by God by game mode. New Smite players will also see new recommended Q tags to help with training and new player quests to get them exploring all the different parts of Smite. Co-op vs AI now has easy and medium options and the practice mode has moved into this queue. We're adding a play again button for the group leader that will allow players to queue again without leaving the end of game lobby. And due to us fixing some exploits, consuming an item will now count as leaving the fountain for the purpose of selling back items. Let's move on to item changes. Two relics are receiving changes this patch. Frenzy now applies an additional buff that increases all damages against objectives to help early game with objective pushes. Sunder is also receiving reduced casting time. Breastplate of Valor's cost is being reduced by 200 gold. Bulwark of Hope is seeing its passive nerf from 150 plus 15 health per level down to 150 plus 10 health per level. Its shield effect also now fades after 20 seconds. Imperial Helmet is seeing a reduction in cost to make it more viable early game. Soul Eater has new effects upon killing minions to show stacks being gained. And Spear of Desolation also has new effects to highlight when the passive is triggered. Lastly, let's talk about God Balance changes. First up, Amaterasu is seeing a pretty heavy damage nerf to Heavenly Reduction's base damage. Artemis' Caledonian Boar will now target minions if there aren't any gods nearby. Chiron is seeing a few nerfs since he's been one of the top gods in the game since his launch. His herbal medicine no longer provides a healing bonus, and training exercise no longer cripples. Ravana is getting increased cooldown on both his Prana Onslaught and Overhead Kick. Soul's Stellar Burst receives a fix for an issue where the ability didn't correctly play its recovery time. And yes, that means her Kaboom is back. Her Disapparate will no longer stun when she detonates, and her Supernova has improved targeting effects to better indicate the area. Lastly, Uller is seeing some buffs. His Bladed Arrow Thrown Axe gets a reduction in mana cost. Exposed Weakness and Invigorate now has an 18 second cooldown at all ranks, and his buffs from this ability are no longer removed when he changes stances. And that's all for 3.3 Patch Overview. Thanks for watching, and don't forget that you can read the entire patch notes on smitegame.com, or click on the annotation to watch Pawn and Hindu break down the patch.